Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here with Snowbird Chickadees for Honeybee's 12 Designers of Christmas. I am day two and I'm excited to bring you these chickadees that are going to be colored on snow globes and ornaments. The birds set that they have, the snowbirds, is really cute. It's got lots of really cute ones. I'm going to color this first one with the little snow thing around it. So the little birdies making snow angels and I'll show you how to color that. I will color these others and I'll show you cards at the end, but I'm going to color them all in the same way. So you'll be able to get the idea from the first one. The die set, which is really fun, is snow globe, make snow globes and ornaments. And then there's some slope dies as well that I'll be using. So they're easy to die cut and figure out how they go together. There's an ornament and then there's the snow globe. And you can make shakers out of them. You can do just a scene out of them. You can cut them out of pattern paper or solid paper, whatever you want. I'm doing really nice plain white on white kind of a look with just the coloring. And I've already got it stamped and adhered onto my card with a little bit of dimensional adhesive underneath of it. So we're gonna start on the coloring here and keep this quick because you guys are busy. It's December and we are getting ready for Christmas. So I looked up chickadees, black cap chickadees, and they have a black cap that encompasses their eyes and they have a little beard thing. Their wings are a little on the grayish side. And when I stamped this with the little birdie, I didn't want his wings to look like they were solid. So I wiped off some ink around the bottom of his wings so I could make them look like they're flailing around, like he's moving in his snow. And then his uh, his armpits here, I'm calling it his armpits, it's the area underneath the wings, is has a yellowish cast to it, yellowish brown cast. So I'll add that color. And then I'm gonna add the motion. So basically I'm adding replicas of that outline of the wing, and it's gonna start to make it look like he's flailing around in the snow. Now that outline of the snow, you can see it's very, very, very light. I did like fourth generation stamping for that. So I put a couple pieces of paper in there and kept stamping until it was really, really, really light because I didn't want it to be a heavy black outline like the bird. I wanted to reserve the black for just the parts of the bird that I wanted to look like they were standing still. So now I'm going to add darker color. Now that I've got my bird kind of blocked in and I know where I want him to be, I wanted his head a little rounder, so I just added a little roundness there. If you're doing a bird that has a fluff on the top of his head, then make sure you put the fluff there. And then I'm going to smooth that color out with my mid-tone. If it gets too dark and it kind of can look like he's got nothing going on, like he's he's got no eyeballs at all once you start putting darker color in there, then you can go back in with a lighter color. And that's what I'm going to do um, when I get to a lighter color. I can go back in with like some C3 and start to lighten that up. And I'm going to make sure I get my blending right and those angles first on the sides of his head. But look at what happens when I take that C3 marker. I can just go right over those areas around his eyes and his little eyes start to come back out and be seen again. I'm going to do that same little sketchiness with the gray marker right around the feet so it looks like the feet are moving a little bit as well. And before I do anything more on our little birdie, I wanted to get the snow in there. I'm taking a B41 marker and just going around in a sketchy sort of way inside that outline. And I'm using the outline as a really kind of general guideline. Since I stamped it so light, and you could also stamp it in a very light gray color or light blue color and not have to do the uh, second, third, fourth generation stamping like I did to try to lighten it, but you want it to not really appear heavily. So as you can see, it's starting to look like snow around him rather than looking like a line around him. And I'm just letting my markers be a little sketchy. I've switched to a blue violet marker so I can get a little bit different color in it. And then I'm going to switch over to a bright blue and one that's very light. The more zeros a marker has, the lighter the color. And I'm just doing some kind of sketchy dots and filling in a few other spots. That, that little area where the snow much fun is, I made sure I'm using only the lightest color so that the snow remains readable. And then I'm just throwing some random color here and there. It's going to give the whole thing the feel of smooshy snow and that sort of thing as I just sketch around it. 
Now around his body or around his armpits, shall we say, I wanted a little darker color. I wanted it to be a little richer. So I added a little bit of a, a brown color and then I'm going back over it with my yellows in order to create a little darker shades there. And now I'm going to use my white pen to add a whole bunch of details because he's flailing around, which means there's going to be lots of snow flying all over the place. And I'm going to be able to cover up some of those black stamp lines so that it looks like he's embedded in the snow. So it's going to give a little bit more motion to it. For the cap at the top, just put some yellow on it, leave some white spots. It doesn't really matter where they are. There's no real science to it. As long as you make it look like it's gold and shiny, people's eye is going to go straight to that little bird. They're not going to care about the ornament, except that it just looks in general like an ornament. That's all but they're going to interpret it correctly. So here I've made it into a card instead of just an ornament by hanging the die over the fold of the card so it stays attached at the top. And I can use it as a Christmas card. This one is stamped inside and it made into a shaker card with the bottom on it that makes it into a snow globe. And I use extra die cuts of the pieces at the bottom to really anchor the whole card at the bottom and put some shaker bits in it that are called diamonds. They're really tiny pieces and they make a really cute little shaker with a little bird and snowman. And here's two of the other birds and I made them with the ice chips glitter inside. So Honeybee has different sizes of things that you can use. I didn't use the big ones, but I thought you might like to see the size difference between them. So there's my project for the day. Make sure you stay tuned with Honeybee to go see all of their other designers because they've got 12 from the 1st to the 12th of the month. And I have videos here from the 1st to the 12th of this month because I am just doing my rush to Christmas thing. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to see a whole bunch more videos from me. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.